so welcome to my channel welcome to my latest video I'm actually excited about this um, I'm starting a new series on my channel uh, it is probably from the title I don't know what I'm in the title it yet but you probably already know um, Big Brother Canada just started this week and uh, I thought I would kind of do like a series where, you know, we talk about the show, we talk about what happened, um, what we like, what we don't like, things like that. So I thought I would just do it so that I put my two cents in and then you guys can kind of comment below with what you guys think and hopefully we can get a really good, um, fun discussion and just to interact a little bit more. Um, now it is Big Brother Canada. So, everyone in Canada has it. Hopefully, you guys watch it. Um, I don't know if you guys in the States can get Big Brother Canada. I have no idea how it works. If you get it and you watch it, it would be awesome. Join in. Um, it's pretty much the same as in the American Big Brother, except the prize. The prize at the end is $100,000. So we're cheaper I guess I don't know um, but yeah so that's what we're doing so first off I'm just gonna kind of give you an idea what my plan is um, so I'm definitely gonna be recording every either Thursday night or Friday morning um, to talk about the night before because Thursdays is eviction night so um, I'll definitely be doing one on Friday there is a chance I might do some through the week as it's on. It's on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So, you know, if something crazy happens, I might just upload a quick video and be like, oh my gosh, did you guys see this? Um, so always know that if you're clicking on a Big Brother video, it's going to probably be a spoiler. So if you haven't seen it yet, watch it and then come back. Um, yeah, so, and if this goes really, really well, I will definitely be doing it for the summer for Big Brother. Like, U.S. Big Brother. Um, so first thing I wanted to say was we haven't watched Big Brother Canada for the last couple of years, mostly because all the contestants have been, or all the house guests have been in their twenties, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you know, they all want to drink and they all want to party, and there's not that much game talk and. I don't know, we just didn't have the interest in it. But this year, um, there are four people over 30, and there's a lot of people in their late 20s. So, um, so far, I'm act we're actually really enjoying it. Um, it's the good versus evil theme, heaven and hell, and it, it's awesome. I love the way so far that it's been going on. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's jump right into it. Um, so episode one um, was good. Um, I kind of like Andrew. Um, you know, he did make some questionable choices with what he had to do, but um, I don't know. I uh, I like him. There's something about him I like. Um, <laughs> the age of age competition. Um, it was okay. It wasn't that dramatic. It was an endurance live which is weird. You don't normally do endurance challenges live. Um, Johnny won. Johnny is, um, this, um, small guy who so far his strategy has been to, to appear extremely weak, which, I mean, that's not a horrible strategy, I suppose. Um, you know, he, he did safe nominations. Uh, he nominated Ali and um, Rosina. Um, I don't necessarily disagree with that. I think Rosina, mostly she was getting really annoying. Um, he said he nominated her because she was cheering for Paris and not him during the competition. But, um, you know... I think we've seen one alliance come together. It's an alliance of four, two boys, two girls. So you know what that's going to start. They're going to be showmances all over the place. I think this season. 
Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, so last night was the eviction episode, but we got to see a little bit before that on kind of what's been happening in the house and and uh, I can't say I'm think I okay, so they did the or sorry, so they did the POV competition. Um, it looked to be fairly physical. Um, Rosina didn't even get on the board. Like she, she's not a threat at all. Um, cause she, she is older. She was 40, she is 49, but she wasn't a threat at all. She was an extra vote. If you aligned with her, she apparently cooked all the time and was a great cook. Um, and they voted her out. Like, that kind of surprised me. Um, like, first of all, why? Why did they vote them out? And they never showed anybody talking about it, yet everybody voted for her to go. Um, that was really, really weird. Um, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like it. I personally would not have voted her out. Like I said, she was not a threat. Not a threat at all. And she would be easy enough to get rid of later on down the line if you needed to for whatever reason. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's it. The 49-year-old went out first, which is just so disappointing. But, oh well, what's done is done. So, um, yeah, I think this season is going to be good. I, I like the heaven and hell bit and the good and the evil and um yeah I think they're I think they're gonna do really good um yeah so if you guys have watched it please let me know what you think you know was Regina the right choice to go um yeah just let me know let me know who you, who you like who you um are enjoying watching I do like the uh the one guy I can't remember his name, but he's, I believe he's from Newfoundland, and uh, he's got quite the accent, but um, yeah, just let me know, and I, let me know if you guys are into this series, um, you know, if you have a YouTube channel, let me know if you're going to do videos on it, um, definitely let me know, and, uh, and I'll check it out, so thank you guys so much for watching, um, yay big brother, <laughs> um, but that's it, that's all I've got to say so far, so I will see you again definitely next Friday, but maybe during the week because it's back on Monday. So I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.